It turns out that this experiment was done on the surface of the moon by the Apollo astronauts. They actually held a hammer at shoulder height here, or at waist height, and a feather that they brought from the Earth, and they drop them in the vacuum, which is the surface of the moon, and they go down at exactly the same rate and hit the ground at the same time, unlike this, where the hammer clearly is hitting the ground first. But what I wanted to do was to try to reenact that experiment, right? And of course, I don't have the moon here, um, so I decided to do it inside of a vacuum chamber. And inside of my vacuum chamber, I couldn't fit a full-blown hammer, and it was also uh, very cumbersome, so I decided to do the experiment with uh, magnets, which are also fairly heavy, much heavier than a feather. Uh, but also, instead of uh, just feathers, I decided to do it with confetti, uh, feathers, and also glitter, very fine particle glitter. I think you can imagine that if you sprinkle glitter in a hammer, or any kind of metal, that that glitter is going to turn into a cloud and just kind of very slowly go down, and obviously uh, air resistance is going to stop it from hitting the ground at the same time. But if you suck all of the air out of the situation, everything hits the ground at the same time. Now this is really cool. I found some glitter that's obviously very lightweight metallic glitter, and I'm dumping it in directly in the atmosphere so there's air resistance in the way. Notice how the glitter cloud stretches vertically, and it doesn't travel as a group. It kind of spreads out and turns into a cloud, clearly because the air is interfering with the fall of each individual particle. Now contrast that with this case when I've pumped the air out. This is super cool. When we release it, the glitter travels as a clump because there's no air to disperse it. And it's traveling down and hitting the ground as the same time as the magnet. Notice the magnet is not magnetizing these particles. They're just falling at the same rate. Learn anything at mathandscience.com.